As the Irish left gets up in arms about the travesty that is the cost of living crisis, never forget that they, with the government, advocated for policies which directly contributed to it. This is Ben Scallon and you're watching Gripped Media. It's no secret that Ireland, like many countries, is experiencing a serious cost of living crisis fueled by inflation and a European energy crunch. Average families are facing a projected €1,300 increase in energy costs this year alone, and according to the CSO, inflation in Ireland rose 3.7% last year, the sharpest rise since the 2008 financial crash. We're even hearing stories of people being forced to choose between heating and food due to rising rising costs and according to the latest Sunday Independent poll, the cost of living is now the number one concern for voters even ahead of housing. And so it's no wonder why the Irish left, like those in Sinn Féin, the Social Democrats and people before profit, would want to swoop in and capitalise on this discontent, using the crisis as a stick to beat the government with. Now it's absolutely true to say that governments like our own are at least somewhat culpable in this crisis, but they're certainly not the only ones. Around a year ago, in March of 2021, the European Central Bank announced that it had to speed up money printing to keep down the cost of various European governments borrowing vast sums of cash. And why exactly did governments feel the need to borrow so much money? Well, in short, because of months of lockdowns and restrictions across the continent. With so many businesses hindered or outright closed down, we had hundreds of thousands of Irish workers availing of the PUP and Employment Wage Subsidy Scheme, which on its own cost over 9 billion euro. Combine that with all the other measures taken, and you're talking about tens of billions of euros in expense. And this was a similar pattern to what was seen across most EU countries, requiring a huge bailout fund and causing massive amounts of new money to be printed to facilitate the borrowing. Which is how we got to where we are now in 2022 with inflation skyrocketing. So in other words, the hysterical reaction of most governments to COVID is a major factor which got us into this mess. Obviously inflation was a looming problem for years, but our overreaction to COVID massively accelerated the issue. The reason this is noteworthy is because Sinn Féin, People Before Profit and the Social Democrats spent the entire pandemic egging the government on and urging even more radical restrictions than the ones we already had in place. For months, PBP and the SOC Dems swore by zero COVID, an absurd and impossible goal of trying to entirely stamp out what was obviously an endemic virus. These lads would still see us under restrictions to this day if they had their way. Meanwhile, as reported in the Irish Examiner, Sinn Féin said that they agree with most of the premise of zero COVID as an approach, but they do not believe that it's possible without the political will to pursue the same in the North. In other words, they endorsed it too for the entire island. In fact, Sinn Féin's main criticism of the government on COVID was giving out that they weren't following Neffet's advice closely enough. Considering the fact that Neffet's advice throughout the pandemic was hyper cautious and restriction happy, if Sinn Féin was in government following their advice, we would have had the exact same result at best, if not something even more restrictive. In other words, it's certainly true to say that the government has contributed to this crisis, but all of these parties yapping at their heels would have done the exact same thing, if not something even more extreme again. The governing parties and the opposition are as bad as each other. The energy crisis is much the same. The reason European energy costs have gone through the roof is because governments like our own have spent years running around shutting down sources of traditional fossil fuels in an effort to save the planet. That's a tiny sample on screen by the way, there are many more examples than just those. But which opposition party didn't support this goal? They're all aboard for the green agenda that got us here. People before profit, the Social Democrats and Sinn Féin all want to radically reduce Ireland's carbon emissions and fully support the cessation of these traditional energy sources. Their only complaint about the government's green agenda is that it doesn't go far enough. If any of them were in government, the instability of Ireland's energy supply would be the exact same if not worse. The Irish opposition's MO seems to be A. Support the government 100% in everything they do and even give out to them for not doing more of it and then B, shout at them and take the moral high ground when ideas that you endorsed blow up in our collective faces and the country is plunged into a crisis. What this country could do with, more than anything, is a healthy dose of culpability across the political spectrum. 
Please like and share this video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider signing up for a monthly donation via the link on screen to help us produce more content like this. Alternative media like Grift needs all the assistance it can get, and every donation goes a long way. As always, thanks for watching.